All right, here's another shrine video for you guys. It is located in the Tabitha area in your Tabantha Tower. Yeah, Tabantha, I skimmed it too much, I'm sorry. We are way down here. You will see a metal plate. Well, not metal, because I don't think I can just magnet it off. Nope. So you can either stasis it and blow it away with a bunch of hits, or drop an octo balloon on one end of it, and just tuck your way on in. There it goes. The shrine you will want uh, in advance carry in at least one bomb arrow. You need at least one because at the very end it's going to be very annoying if you don't have a bomb arrow. I'm getting excited. I only have, after this shrine, two more shrines to find to hit 120, which is the total number of shrines in this game. The Wind Guide. So free up a weapon slot. And they will give you a Korok Leaf. So you can have the power of the wind. This is going to open the switch, so stand closer to the door. So a lot of this is going to be looking around and uh, trying things out. Kind of like to get to that chest back there jump on this and blow it back the other way. Alright, chest number one. Money. Who doesn't like more money? bad guys for fun. Okay. Oh, came back for me. If the platform was not there, then you just want to go spin spin that again right there and it'll give you another platform. So now just keep working your way across, creating wind. Normally when I break wind I get in trouble. Small key. Time to keep going. This is about to get real interesting. <laughs> okay, now it's no longer going to create a platform. It's going to knock you way up in the air. And be ready. You want to recognize where the chests are going to be, but you can do it again and again, it doesn't really matter. I believe this is a thunder spear? Nope. A little wooden sword. Nothing on top over there. We 
didn't really have to do that, but why not? Now you're up high, so make sure you don't fall down. Okay. Now this is where it gets real fun. So it creates another platform for you. Those spiky things, they will pop your platform. Whoops! Don't do that though. Or that. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's work my way back. Oh, good, it took me all the way to the top. I see another chest. No, oh, that's the chest, because I didn't go get it. So it looks like it bounces. That's good to know. Hurry up and get your stuff and get right back on it. That's what it looks like. Oh, that's worth it. I gotta quit doing that. reset it so it's not moving. So it looks like it continues on its own momentum for a little bit. Oh, please don't pop me. Pretty good to me. We made it! Now we're gonna get launched up in the air again. I don't recall what happens next. Ah, this is where you want that bomb arrow. Because if you don't, if you don't have a bomb arrow, this is what you gotta do. You have to take that and you have to blow it across the center and into the fire over there. Or, oh, okay, I already have a bomb rail on. Just blow that up. What is it doing? Oh, am I fire arrows? I am. Okay. Bomb arrow time. Just one bomb arrow. That's why you needed it from the beginning. key we need from the beginning. Now you may go back to the beginning. Which... I don't recall exactly which way that was. There it is over there. Okay, go back to the beginning area now. Now that you have your key. There's a way to drop up there. I didn't do it though. 
Oh, that's how you get that last chest. I'm gonna open the door. You can finish the shrine if you want. Thank you for watching, but I'm gonna go back. I'll time lapse this. I'm gonna land to get that chest. Shrine is done. You can get rid of your Korok uh, leaf and take that Thunder Spear. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you get a chance, please like, subscribe. I would appreciate that even more. All righty. Have a good one.